Okay, so no matter what is going on in the world, sometimes our businesses need a bit of a cash injection. So if you've been feeling like you're stagnating, if you're seeing slower sales recently for whatever reason, then uh, stick around with me to the end of this video because I've got four ways to get a quick cash injection into your product-based business. So these are four things that I have tried in the last two months that have been really good for my business. And in fact, I've actually had growth from this time last year, which is really exciting. So stick around and let's get into it. So the first thing I want you to try is a second sale. If you're a pin maker, um, if you don't make pins, maybe a sample sale would be the way to go. So if you're interested in seconds, I have a couple of videos here and here. <laughs> and um, those will help you just to get an idea of how to handle a second sale and what seconds are. Um, this is basically just selling products that are a little bit flawed for less money. So if you have samples that you're working on, ceramics with little cracks, if you do apparel and there's like a little stain, you know, just little things like that, you give your customers a discount and it's a good way to get a cash injection. I like to schedule my second sales for different times during the year, just in general for this. And I had one scheduled in early March that worked really really well for me and I, I closed it down I usually only have it up for a limited time but once everything started going crazy I decided to just leave my seconds up and it's been a really nice steady drip of income and I just constantly remind people on Instagram like don't forget I have seconds up for sale you know they're there until they're gone that kind of thing and that's been really really good for my business so if you want to learn more about seconds check out those videos and um, give it a shot in your business I'd love to know in the comments if if you have had second sales or sample sales before in your business um, I think they're really really great <laughs> okay number two is a mystery box so I just tried this out um, I've done kind of in-person mystery boxes or lucky dip boxes before just with pins so I'll have like a little pillow box with three pins in it and I did those um, over the holiday season and those are really good um, especially at Blue Genie in Austin, which is like my favorite show. <laughs> but just recently, I have a mystery box. Uh, I just have a handful left. They went really fast. I was not expecting it. So I had a t-shirt in here. I had some A grade pins, B grade pins, stickers, earrings, all that kind of stuff. And I sold it at a deep discount. And uh, while normally, I don't like depending on like discounts for stuff. <laughs> um, I only have sales every now and then like uh, on International Day of Pink and um, and like Black Friday, Cyber Monday. But I like having these discounted mystery boxes because A, it helps me move inventory. And if I could turn this camera around and you could see the rest of my studio, you would know that that's an important thing for me right now. <laughs> Um, and B, I mean, it just gives people an opportunity to get fun stuff they might not have been able to get before because it was so high priced, especially so much in the box. So it's a win-win for everyone and I think it's really great. So I had a limited number because I have a limited number of shirts and I'm actually not going to print shirts for a while after this because um, they do take up a lot of space. That's something you really have to think about as a product-based business. But um, that has been a really great surprise for me and a really good cash injection uh, for the business. Okay, the third thing I wanna talk about is doing a collab with another maker. So I have a video about collabs, you can check that out there. And um, I really love it because it gets you in front of another audience. So you wanna find someone who may not have a ton of overlap with you, so that way you both benefit from getting each other's audience's eyeballs on your stuff. It's really great. I did the Pink Samurai and Friends for a long time, so that was a monthly thing. My pin club was a collaboration with other artists, and I think that was a big part of my initial growth on Instagram. And then if you have a pin or whatever product you're making with another person, and you get that in front of everyone's eyeballs, and then everyone gets excited. So that lead up to launch is even more magnified because you've got another group of people who are into it. So I think that's a really great way to kind of get some extra money and extra eyeballs and extra followers 
um, to your business and your Instagram account. And the last thing I did recently was I hosted a giveaway. So I kind of mashed up the collab and this uh, kind of giveaway into a launch strategy. So this was really good. I partnered with my friend Stacy Martin Tattoos. I'll show you, here's one of hers. This isn't, she actually did another collab with Lux Cups Creative. So see, we've got all of these things going all at once. So Stacy and I both designed our own separate uh, kind of crafty themed pins. We both had two that we did. And then together, a week before we launched those pins, we had a giveaway. So we gave away two sets of those pins to like a follower on her side and a follower on my side. And we cross promoted everything for a whole week. And it was really, really great. Um, same thing with the collab, but adding the giveaway element too got people really excited. And then making sure we had our giveaway winners announced before the launch. That way people weren't like, holding out on buying something. So if we had had our launch on Monday and then announced a winner for the giveaway on Friday, then people might have waited to see if they had won to buy. So what we did was we launched the giveaway early in the week and then we had the winner announced on the same day like right before um, our pins launched. So people were excited, people were watching our space on Instagram, seeing if they had won, and if they didn't win, they would scoot right over and buy our pins. So it worked out really well. So those are four promos and kind of levers that you can pull to get a quick cash injection in your product-based business. Um, you can do this at any time of the year. You can spread these out and use them. Um, I would recommend if you have specific launches during certain months, kind of sprinkle these in in between so you can keep things a little bit more even and have revenue that you can really depend on a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, so let me know in the comments. Um, did you have any aha moments? Are you excited to try one of these? Let me know what you think. Let's talk about it in the comments. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you next week.